What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about all the different attachments that are available in Call of Duty Vanguard. Now of course in the beta we only got to experience the attachments up to level 30 but we can see that most guns are going to be able to be ranked up to you know around 70 somewhere in that area. So you're going to have a lot of attachments for each individual weapon pretty much like we had in Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2019. And in my opinion I think less would have been more. And what I mean by this is if we look back at Modern Warfare 2019 uh, all those attachments we had for each individual weapon, how many did we honestly use? There are, you know, pretty much the meta builds. If you're playing multiplayer, if you're playing, you know, in a ranked playlist uh, of any type, or if you're playing, uh, you know, something like Warzone, or whatever the case may be, with these weapons, there was pretty much meta builds, and there was only a certain handful of attachments you ran in each individual category. And of course, in Vanguard, we're going to have 10 attachments per weapon, and that's just going to be by default. And the majority of these attachments will never be used. You're going to unlock them and probably never use them because they're not what's considered to be the best in slot. And most players are going to use what makes the weapon handle and perform to its you know max potential. So people aren't going to be really experimenting too much after you know the first couple of weeks or right after they unlock something. They, you know they may experiment with it for a second and they're going to go back to what they know works correctly and work, works to the way they want it to you know the way they want the gun to perform. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So in my opinion, I think it's really not, it's a great idea. I mean, it's a great idea to have all this stuff to unlock. And I understand that they're doing it because when it comes to gamers, we all like things to keep us kind of, you know, occupied with the game, you know, to keep our interest. So if you think about any kind of shooter, if you have camos, you have attachments to unlock, it keeps you grinding the kind of game out. If you have less of that, people are not going to play as much because a lot of people kind of quit playing after they get their camos done and get everything unlocked for all the weapons. People kind of lose interest in shooters sometimes. And I, that can be, under, I, I can understand that. I can understand why people are, are like that. I can understand it. Like I said, in general, as gamers, we like to have a lot of stuff to do in a game, no matter what the game is. But at the same time, I feel like it's really just a waste. I think they probably could have made attachments be a little bit more impactful and just had less of them. Yeah, we're going to have 10, you know, 10, uh, attachments on a weapon that's fine but if we only just had a handful of attachments you know if you only had four or five maybe three options per slot and all of them were impactful on the weapon in one way or another i think that would be better for the game instead of having you know two or three that people are going to run between all the different slots and everything else in that list is pretty much just useless because when it comes to weapon builds and how people like to build out their weapon to perform it's usually either faster ads better accuracy so it might be a little bit slower when you ads that kind of thing and it's just really, in my opinion, kind of a waste to have all that extra stuff there, even though I'm, I'm sure they're trying to do it to make sure people have something to kind of grind out and keep their attention for a while. And if the rumors are true and actually a ranked playlist will be coming to the game when the game is launched, that means that's going to be the Pro League, you know, CDL rule set, which I do really enjoy playing. I like playing ranked play. Um, and in my opinion, most of the stuff that's in here anyway for these weapon attachments is going to be banned because... I'm not sure if you're a fan of the CDL, if you watch Pro League Call of Duty, but most weapon attachments are banned in the Pro League. They don't use a lot of the stuff because some of it may be considered overpowered or too strong in this, uh, in one way or another anyway. And so a lot of that stuff is banned out. So if you look back at Modern Warfare 2019, all the attachments we had on those weapons, the majority of it you couldn't even use. And that's, like I said, kind of lines up with even if you're not a ranked play fan even if you're just playing you know casual uh you know just casual tdm or dom or whatever the case may be even if you're not in that ranked playlist you're still going to be using what a lot of you know youtubers recommend or your friends recommend or what just the community recommends in general for the best kind of way to make your loadout work correctly and you're probably not still going to even be messing with a lot of these different attachments there's a few players out there that will experiment with a lot of different things but most players are going to use what is considered meta most players that are playing ranked, of course, are going to have to be forced to use what is meta or what is, uh, you know, deemed by the CDL rule set to be usable. And so overall, in my opinion, I think it is a big waste of attachments. I really wish Call of Duty would stop putting so many attachments in the game. And like I said, make less attachments for each slot and make them all impactful in one way or another for that weapon. So they all could be usable. And that way we'd have more gun variety, in my opinion, because at that point, instead of having a bunch of useless attachments, you'd have you know, three to four that are very useful and then you could have different type builds with each of those attachments depending on how you wanted to play the game. 
Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.